From signing that brand new deal with our wonderful Princess of Wales, Catherine, it would appear that the channel that she's now assigned herself to for her forthcoming Christmas carol concert from Westminster Abbey has a few problems, but as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, and as ever, nice to have your company. Thank you also for the comments regarding this particular front page picture which was placed on the front page of the Daily Mirror, otherwise known as the Mirror over here in the United Kingdom, the day after the Remembrance Service Sunday. And uh, it's frightening, isn't it, to think exactly how this picture was allowed to go out onto the front pages, you know? I know this caused a lot of alarm and upset over at the palace, seemingly because, you know, it's one of those things that when you look at the rest of the pictures, while Catherine, of course, was in a somber mood naturally to suit the occasion, and she was there to represent the the royal family alongside the Queen Consort, one would have suspected that they could have found a better shot. A lot of people suspect that this particular image looks like it's been doctored with, you know? And that's the bigger problem now concerning ITV. And as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Welcome one and all. Lovely to see you today. Hope you're all keeping well. Let's have a big wave wherever you are. And uh, thank you for your comments about all the puddings and stuff like that. I know it's winter. We start to look at things, don't we? And don't you think as well, as I've said before, those basic simple recipes filled you up, as we say in the North, you know? You weren't always looking around for something else to eat. And did your mum and dad say this to you as well? You can't have anything else until you've eaten everything on your plate. Other people will be grateful for that in another country. Do you remember those? <laughs> Do you remember those sayings that they used to say? And you think, I hate lettuce or I hate green beans. Funny how you change your tune when you're a bit older, because you find out that they're good for you. I'm right, aren't I? Back as ever to your breaking ball story of the day. This really centres upon the fact, as I say, about the front page of the Daily Mirror. And this really is very difficult now for ITV because they've got this very big deal uh, with our beautiful Princess of Wales, Catherine, for a forthcoming carol concert on December the 15th. And as we know, last year's was a huge success and they're very keen to replicate that and make this an annual event with a permanent contract. But now it's the association with the mirror that's problematic for ITV. This is because, you see, whichever way you look at it, one of the main people, well, two people, in fact, are employed by ITV on a regular basis. Their royal commentator, Russell Myers, pops up well thrice weekly on the little-watched daytime TV show Lorraine, hosted by Lorraine Kelly. And then, on the same channel, a little bit earlier on the little-watched Good Morning Britain, is also the associate mirror editor, Kevin Maguire, who's been very vocal and very open about his distaste for our wonderful British monarchy, you know. One might say that he's more than just distasteful, but sometimes rather rude. As ever, that's subjective and I'll leave it up to you to find out and take a look at. But what's interesting here is, by that association, so far no one in the Daily Mirror has come forward and offered a public apology as to why this happened, including the editor of the mirror who's also a frequent guest on itv you get the picture i say well what's this got to do with the mirror and itv well it would have been a great opportunity wouldn't it for either uh, the royal commentator the royal editor russell myers to basically publicly apologize on camera for this faux pas that may have smoothed things over and of course, for the boss of ITV, Carolyn McCall, she now has to basically wonder exactly what the background to that particular story was. Now, so far, the palace have not really designed to step forward. You know, obviously they were rather upset by this particular individual incident, but it does say a lot, doesn't it, that that was allowed to come out on such a pivotal day in the royal calendar. Someone somewhere doctored that particular image. And as I say, for ITV moving forward, by continuing to employ, whether it be on a freelance or semi-permanent contract basis, these two people associated with the paper, that seemingly has a distaste for our much admired, much respected British monarchy. Well, how difficult does it now make, for instance, how they're going to review uh, you know, the forthcoming Carol concert in their newspaper? Whichever way, it's a public embarrassment all round on an event that really should have been given the respect it thoroughly deserved about the people that were gracious enough to give their lives, their time and sadly their souls for the greater good of the people living in today's society. But seemingly once again the Daily Mirror and ITV who are now implicated in this debacle don't see the same thing.
As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.